Guys, Chef Creole uh, wanted to further point out the contributions that um, the Haitians uh, being free had made, uh, not only to Latin America countries, but of course uh, the Caribbean, of course to America. Uh, did you guys know that the founder of Chicago, uh, his name was Jean Baptiste Point de Sable. Uh, in, in English, they would say Jean Baptiste Point de Sable. Okay, he was a Haitian, born in Saint Mark, Saint Ma. Uh, his father was a French uh, uh, sea captain. Uh, his mom was a descendant of a black African slave, and he was a uh, tradesman and a pioneer at that time. And then he had he settled uh, where we would know today call Chicago, and that's why today uh, they consider him to be the founder of Chicago. Now, people need to understand right about. The 1750s, 1760s, you know, uh, hundreds, uh, there was a lot of changes being made as far as black Africans starting to make their move and their mark uh, from the island of Hispaniola, it being uh, the, the, the part we're talking about would be Haiti. Uh, in 1791, the first revolt that was made in the island of Hispaniola was the black Africans with the mulattoes, which were the mixed children from a French soldier, French soldier and a black uh, African woman or black African guy, you know, having his pleasures with a white French woman, they created the mulattoes, which are lighter shades, and there are different shades of mulattoes of, uh, 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 um, at that time. So the result of that revolt, it was successful. The result of that was the mulattoes wanted citizenship. They wanted French citizenship. So they got their French citizenship. But the black Africans were still slaves. So they would travel back and forth uh, from Louisiana back to Haiti. They were even traveling the world because at that time, you being a French citizen would be equivalent to you being a United States citizen today, you know? So I just wanted you guys to know that as a, there was a, a, a much successful uh, mulattoes and a very small amount of black Africans that were very successful businessmen that came out of Louisiana. So just want to bring that to your attention. Look, I can talk for days about the contributions that that successful revolt uh, had, the impact that, is, it, it, that it, it has had, you know, around the world. And we'll talk about that as much as I can, you know. But uh, again, uh, I thank the flag and the bloodline that I come from uh, because of the impact that it, it, it is having on us today.